Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 52. Today we're going to be looking at several different texture APIs, specifically around the text parameter i function, and some things that are around it. I'll also introduce you the get texture text parameter function. So if you want to display out the ID of those text parameters, you can, and the generate mipmap function. A few things you should walk through just so you are aware of. Uh, MIT maps are used to create distance with objects. Higher resolution MIT map is used for objects closer, and a lower resolution MIT map is used for objects that are further away. Uh, it starts with the resolution, and it halves that set resolution until it's one by one when it creates MIT maps. It takes up memory, of course. So an example would be if you have a 64 by 4, 64 by 64 texture. The next MIT map will be 16, 16, 4 by 4, and down to 1 by 1, etc. We'll look at these in detail in a further episode. Uh, when we start to get into 3D and you can kind of see uh, distance and how that actually plays. Um, uh, first thing we'll be looking at here is the texture mag filter, uh, which is used when uh, the surface is larger than your corresponding texture bitmap. So for close-up objects, then you can use linear. It's the default. The opposite of that is when you have a rendered smaller than the corresponding bitmap for distance objects where the default value is nearest MIP map linear. Then we'll also be looking at the texture wrap S and texture wrap T uh, constants here. Um, jumping right in, everything is the same at the top of the code until we get to load texture. And then we have all the different parameters set on this texture I, uh, text parameter I uh, function that I said before. You'll be passing it in the 2D or 3D context. For now, we'll just be looking at 2D. Um, we'll go ahead and set the text mag filter to linear as the first one. And as you can see, it's all normal. This is going to stay the same in this case because of the fact that we're just dealing with 2D and there's no real uh, depth to it. Um, and it's, the texture is not any smaller or really uh, bigger than the space um, for the exact area that it's been given. Uh, if you ever just want to give it linear, linear, that's going to ensure that you're going to uh, be able to fit the... Um, Bit, uh, the texture into the uh, area provided. Um, you'll note here that the nearest MIP map is the default for texture MIP filter. Um, and there's quite a few different filter algorithms, and they are all substantially different to each other. Uh, but because of the fact that I'm only going to be dealing with um, two dimensional things right today and no perspective or anything like that, I'm not going to really show those yet. So I'll be going into those in a uh, later episode in a little more detail. Uh, the main two functions, uh, parameters I want to look at today for APIs are texture wrapper S and texture wrapper T. So the default for both of these is just repeat. And what that ultimately ends up doing is, so if you could see we have our, func our uh, texture displayed right here, and I have clamp to edge set to both. So if I want to go ahead and just remove both of these, we'll go ahead, repeat will be uh, the uh, parameter that's passed in as the default. So if I just go ahead and refresh this, now you can see we have a bunch of Pokeballs displayed over and over again. Um, before we move forward, let me go ahead and change this to be the text create BMP. And you can see we have a bunch of texture crates uh, that are displayed here. So what you can do though is we can say clamp to edge on one side and then it still repeats on the other. So you can now see this is what we end up with um, a bunch of repeated and this is the end, so that's the clamped edge on this side, and that's the clamped edge on this side. Um, if we go ahead and clamp just the T value it'll be a row. You can see we're still, so we're still on this is the originating spot, so we're repeating either direction uh, and then you can see we're clamping down and we're clamping up. And if we want to go ahead and repeat the mirror, mirrored repeat, you'll see that we're going every other way. Again, it's repeat up here, so we have to undo clamp if we wanted it to not be repeated. So now we're clamping uh, on the horizontal and we're repeating vertically here. And if we wanted to do the opposite, we can easily do that as well. Um, you can see there's the repeat there. So. Also remember that we have this uh, get text parameter. We pass it the 2D, the context, and then the uh, value of the 
attribute we want to get, and that'll give us the return value for the mirror, repeat, clamp to edge, repeat, etc. So in the console for this particular example, but you can use that if you want to programmatically use that for uh, whatever reason you may have. So uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, pretty simple. We're uh, just taking a little bite off the API and looking at some sm few small examples. Like I said, we'll get later into bitmaps in detail, and we'll get into what some of these algorithms do. Um, but that's it for like this episode. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, like this video, share it on social media, and go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.